If you're a Minnesota Twins fan, let the party begin. Guys, I'm Justin from MLB Baseball Blogs, and when I said let the party begin, Francisco Liriano has just thrown a no-hitter today in baseball against the Chicago White Sox. What a terrific performance by Francisco Liriano. I'm really impressed on what he has done. Um, so here is some of the highlights on how well Francisco Liriano pitched today. Um, he was going up against the Chicago White Sox, who right now is at the bottom of their league. Everybody thought that they're going to be at the top of their league because they have Adam Dunn. Um, they just really improved. Uh, they had Paul Canerico. They're just really improved team um, out of the offseason. Everybody thought they're going to be in first place. But this team is going into struggling form right now, just like the Minnesota Twins going into this game. I mean, look at the records. Chicago being 11 and 20, and the Minnesota Twins going well going into this game, they're 9 and 18. Um, the teams that were supposed to be in last place are in first place. I mean, Cleveland is 19 and 8 right now. Kansas City 15 and 13. Then you got Detroit right in the smack dab in the middle at a 13 and 17 re record. Uh, they beat New York Yankees today. Really, really proud of how well Detroit played today. Uh, but guys, go back to the Francisco Liriano story. All right, so today Francisco Liriano throw a no hitter for your team, the Minnesota Twins today. Really great outing. Um, here is his stats for the game. He was going up against Edwin Jackson. Um, here's the stats. Francisco Liriano going into this game had a high ERA in the nine point area. Um, he pitched all nine innings, of course. Uh, struck out two. I thought he would strike out a little bit more because he's a really great pitcher in my books. Um, but he walked six. I mean, he one of the, he walked. I think was a, only one batter in the ninth inning where he was like right on the cusp of went, of getting it, and he got it. So I'm really excited for what has, what has occurred tonight in baseball. Now I can go to sleep happy. Uh, that was a little expression right there. Um, Francisco Liriano has is a very struggled pitcher going into this game. I think he only uh, won one game um, out of five decisions. I mean, so far this season he's just been struggling, struggling, struggling. But going into this game, he can now proclaim that he is the best for today, the best pitcher in baseball right now, or for just for today. Um, leaving this game, he has a 6.61 ERA, and that's just phenomenal. Francisco Liriano is by far a terrific pitcher for today's game. Um, other than that, there's only two pitchers to come out for Chicago. Edwin Jackson picking up the loss, and uh, Thornton coming from uh, to Chicago White Sox bullpen. He pitched one inning, and it was just a phenomenal. The score came in by Jason Kubel home run in the fourth to give the Minnesota that insurance run for Francisco Liriano to get that no hitter and at the end of the game it was a nice hit by Adam Dunn but it was on to prevail that I think it was Danny Valencia who caught the ball as it was almost going into the, into the center field it was or a right field I should say I apologize um, it was just a phenomenal game I'm just really lost in words right now um, a terrific game today by Francisco Liriano. Um, many pitchers so far this season are on the right there at the inning, eighth inning, ninth inning from getting that no hitter. But it was sad enough that the last no hitter, I think it was a uh, uh, Anibal Sanchez against the Colorado Rockies. Dexter Fowler hitting uh, hit in center field, ending it up. I think that was the latest no hitter bid that was uh, broken up. So guys, congratulations if you're a Twins fan. Congratulations to Francisco Liriano on a terrific game today. Go go Twins right now, guys. I mean, I guess you could just say that the Twins could be on a roll right now. If they can just keep up keep up their great pitching with Francisco Liriano, I could possibly see this team maybe by the All-Star break, maybe in second place or maybe in third place. I mean, if Chicago keeps on losing what they're doing right now, they could possibly face in either a fourth place or maybe in last place at the end of the season. But it's still the beginning of the season, guys. That is just a prediction, what I just said. But I cannot predict the future. So if you're a Twins fan, like I said before, it's a good day to be a Twins fan. It's a good day to be Francisco Liriano. Congratulations, Francisco, on a great game. I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys soon.